Hello, welcome back. Um, okay, right. This is a LRO image 2016. Oh God, what's that? Uh, don't let's just get into this. I've got to tell you guys, while I was uh, looking into this, I found um, detail you're not going to believe. Um, I'll be doing a video after this one, hold on, after this one, showing you what I have found. So what I was planning on doing is, um, well, I'm not going to be doing anymore. So we're just going to have a quick zap around here. For those of you who are new, I just want to point out these little areas. Okay, so remember this stuff. Um, so I was looking at this one. I've got another map. We're going to have another look at. We're going to have a look at this one. This is just for people who are clicking. And um, don't know much about it. This is the area. <coughs> I will be looking at that area in depth as well because it's quite incredible. So for a number of years, we've been looking at these platformed structures. Just to let you know, this is the Jackson Crater and it's 70 kilometers. So, pretty large. Um, for anyone who's new, and guys, sorry for repeating myself, but um, we need to get more people looking at this and realizing what is going on. The uh, difference with the far side and the front side is it's all there. There isn't um, the mask in which we see on the front quite so much. And... Uh, the stuff is so much bigger you won't believe it and i think it's one of the reasons why i've been able to find this detail so these platforms um i've got enhancements of the platforms with buildings and structures on the platforms so we're going to get so close to this stuff Uh, it's it's mind-boggling. And you can start seeing some of the details there. And this is probably as much as I'm going to show you. And that is nothing. It freaked me out, actually, to be honest. So I've got a few of these. Of this actual. Map. So <coughs> this is the initial one. And I'll quickly show you. If any of you are doing this, um, go here and you can download these. This is the Orion spacecraft, Artemis 1. I'm just doing some work on that one at the moment, but that's crazy. That's 2014, I think. This is the one that this site uses. <coughs> and. Uh, on in the next video, this is where we're going to be looking. 
I don't know if you can see this straight off, but it's absolutely rammed with um, structures. So if you are doing this, I've even done I've even done this one, 1959 one. Um, there's another one here, 72. I'm working on that one as well. That's a really different um, view to the LRO stuff. Okay. And also, just quickly before we get into this, do you remember the last video? Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Because I was looking at it on the on the video on a playback, and I could see so much more. So I'm just going to show you quickly. You can see the pixelation coming through, but I could go a lot, lot further, and I will be. Um, so you can start seeing more details coming through. For those of you who are new, um, this is probably going to be very confusing, and it takes a while to get used to these images. Um, so, right, okay. Now this is how the image comes in, it's not bad at all scale wise, but as you can see it's flat as a pancake. So just quickly, okay that's how simple it is to present these images and we don't get these images and this is the place in question here which we'll be having an in-depth look at and off the back of what I've found um, I reckon pretty much the whole image is going to have that amount of detail in it and uh, you know the, the Ganymede that I did that I spent about 70 60 to 80 hours on or something like that and i've been having a look at some more ganymede as well i've been finding loads and loads of stuff it's like screaming at me um and the area that we were talking about which is up here this area here is called a karpinski crater um yeah, like I was, like I was um, showing you here, some names. So if you are researching this, go and check these out. Um, there's one I can show you quickly. This one, which is the area I've started doing some work on it, and it is bizarre. Just briefly show you this. Okay, so I'm giving you snippets. So we got lots coming and it's mind blowing. This stuff is incredible. Okay, so I did a full enhancement on this. Um, now, <coughs> what people have problems with, I'll just show you, um, is that you lose all sort of reference to the surface, i.e. craters and stuff and things like that. But that is what I like to do. We're not going to look at this one, we're going to look at another one which is less enhanced and I've just pulled bits and bobs out. Um, so for people with the untrained eye can, um, you can hear the nerve, I'm, I'm nervous doing this, it's freaky. Um, so people get a better idea of what they're looking at. See that crater that, that I showed you is over here. So just check these out. So these massive platformed structures, which we know are there now, I've got enhancements of the structures on these structures, like on the surface 
It's flipping mental. Right, okay, let's have a look at this one. So we can have a zap around here. I might do a little bit of work for you on this. So remember, this Jackson crater here is um, 70 kilometers. So there's a number of maps. So we, I've got one. Uh, this is the... map the LRO this is 2014 uh, and that is what these guys use but they use the the flat squished one so it's all it's all stretched and squished at the top and I haven't had a too much I haven't really investigated this one But what I will be showing you as well is this crater. Th 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 it's not like that. It doesn't have a flat bottom. There's th there's structures in here. This is fake. Absolutely fake. Okay, so let's go back here. So you need to pause this and just let your eyes adjust to the the quality we have to deal with. Um, so bear in mind we have tops, sides, bottoms. You can see the shadows. You can see where the light is shining. I'm going to do this a bit bigger. I try and imagine doing this on a phone, but... And there's that area there. Now, I don't think there's anything else that I've got quite so close up with. Now, you can see this. You can start seeing the details which are on these platforms, which we're familiar with looking at. So I've got the detail of these details. It gets smaller and smaller. Um, and basically I had just had to crop a small image and I only, I only did it because I wanted to show you something that was standing out quite nicely and I just kept going into it and the stuff started appearing and like I say the stuff on the um, the far side the dark side of the moon is humongous now even if you don't believe in this stuff even if you did this if you were an amateur astronomer or whatever and you wanted to have a look at this image and uh, you're happy with that then there's something wrong. You've got to, you've got to investigate this stuff. That simple. I might do another, um, some more tutorials just to show you how I work on these things and the stages that I do them in. Because I can sort of do it quite quickly now. Um, for those of you who want to do it. There are tutorials, but I think I've improved on those. And I think I'm going to be, I'll be doing those, those close-up stuff um, after this one. So, okay. So that's that area I was telling you is a fake. Um, but on this image, 
<coughs> I push the contrast quite a lot, so I can't do any work on that. Um, I can show you on this that there is stuff in there. But it's still quite dark. I'll do some more, some more stuff on the um, Orion one, the Artemis one, which is. Is it this one? I'm not sure. So confusing. I mean, when I was looking at all this stuff, I, I spent all afternoon trying to work out what was what and what was where. It gets very confusing. It, it all looks so different. See, this is all contrast out. That's why I don't like doing it. But I thought I'd do some more stuff like this. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with it. So I'll show you some stuff here. Let me know if I'm, if you are looking at this on a phone. The phone I've got, it's got a big screen. I haven't even tested it. So, uh, where are we? I want to quickly do some stuff here. See, I can, I can see the detailing in this. So the level I've been working on is like this close and I'm getting tiny details on these things. You can't see this, this is pixelating now. So if you're going, nah, it's just a bad quality image. Uh, yeah, it is a bad quality image and there's no reason for there to be bad quality images. We've been over and over and over this. They simply don't take bad images. Just that they feed us completely crap images. So we can't see this stuff. It doesn't exist. So I was thinking, uh, you know, this is just the uh, the makeup of the image, and it's not at all. Like I've always said, you know, um, it's like anything. Of course you can have an opinion. Of course you can be taught for years and years and years about what is and what isn't. But unless you try something yourself, you're not going to know for sure. And it's the whole idea of the channel is to be able to show you how to do this. I guarantee your opinion will change. This stuff is there. This is the information in the image. These are humongous, gi 
gigantic constructions. There's no other way to describe this. Sorry if you can see my screen darkening. I don't know if it um, records it doing that. I'm not drawing, I'm not laying anything down. I'm just simply making the pixels, the information in the image lighter or darker and yes it is down to me how far I pull it or push it make it lighter or darker I'm trying to get it to a level where you can understand what's going on and sorry for you guys who do watch me for repeating myself but it's so, this is so important this is the biggest the biggest thing ever the biggest secret of all time you all know that and I want people to know about it it's going to start changing the way we think When I mentioned the other day as well, I had the um, is it a Clementine image, which is one of the the big flat maps, where I said I think I found some some domes. Haven't found any in here. I was saying that. You know, sometimes you can see a little bit of reflection where it looks distorted The reason that the reason I um, pull out of these images is so it's, like it's a visual thing. Depends what size screen you're using. But the bigger the screen, the better you're going to be able to see this. If you want 23 inch or over, and then you'll be able to see what I'm doing. saying the other day you know there was, a, there was a, a friend of mine who's a amateur astronomer very good friend but it's like as if people just don't even they won't even entertain it I don't understand why why wouldn't you want to know 
the lie. What I might do on the next video as well, because I don't class this as like entertainment at all, but I do like watching documentaries and I found a few good ones and stuff that I've found and as much as the information that's in them. Um, so when, you, when you've been looking into this subject for years and years and years, it's, it's the tiny bits of information which tie stuff together. So there's bits and bobs and stuff like that. I saw on the, the other day. I'll see. I, I might put the link in 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 this one, but um, it's about the Apollo missions and the the astronauts and some uh, anomaly stuff. The guy is one of the guys I'm going to contact. Well, there's loads of them, but it was really weird to hear and being shown. He was saying exactly the same stuff. That I was saying. But we're all crap pots, we're all space cadets. The size of this stuff, though. And we've we've spoken about how a lot of the scaling is completely off and wrong, um, but with the details I've been able to find in this, um, it does make sense. I'm going to try and work some stuff out on um, this this place, and this is where we will be going. So it's in the northern hemisphere. There's no detail, no detail in this, but there are there are bits. There is stuff sticking out. You can see stuff if you know what you're looking for. So straight away in here, 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 here. So guys, do it. Do the research. In fact, I'll, ha I'll have a look and see if there's anything. So you see this that I'm using. This this is just in Windows 10. And I think it, it must vector the, the images. Because you can get in so close. So if there's an editing suite in here, I haven't had a look. That's all you'll need to do. There's so much to show you. It's, it, and I'm trying to keep the videos shorter. So look, there's another one I did here. A lot of people would find very confusing. See this running through here. There's too much to look at too much to look at and these things which you think are craters they are not craters they're all elevated the stuff underneath them how can it be a crater look at these angles
No two ways about it. Also, when we were in the Aristarchus crater, which was this one I showed you with the more detail on it, you can start seeing it coming through. Um, I've got this one. Oh my god. So, we've got so much to look at. You'll be seeing them when I've finished them. I'll just show you this quickly. Pause it and have a look. I don't know, I have no idea if there's any really, really close up detail on this stuff because I think this was a screenshot from the LPI site. So there we go, it's crazy. Please share this. Um, the links just send it to everyone I'm going to be doing the same okay nice one guys and I'll see you soon